sure we have actually we haven't done pike in a little while we can go ahead and uh grab him yeah that looks that looks fine and as far as his constellation we'd have everything but sure let's go and do this uh weekly yeah should be good pike here is going to be a little bit of a mixed bag because the enemy is going to be putting a lot of pressure on us early as long as we can survive to the mid game to drop our pike and have him just start wiping the board then we'll be fine uh since we have him at six stars i think we should be fine like we've we've taken him into adventures that he kind of gets countered by before and he did okay but yeah this is a pretty tough one with them getting units every single round and then them also getting everything buffed up and that's on top of them summoning units at the start of the game anyways as well as getting more nexus health and mana yeah it's it's pretty rough all right let's go ahead and load in all right let's go ahead and see what we get for our first power when you summon a created ally grant it 2-2 two, two. so this is good for our shark lane that we generate uh with our phantom hall it is really good for that pike should count as a created ally from the death from below so it should make him have an additional 2-2 two, two as well our sharkling should also get 2-2 two, two. this unit that we're creating also would get 2-2 two, two. reunited though buffing up all of our units isn't bad enfeebling strike also really good so that if we don't kill units we're at least reducing down their health or their power that is so yeah enfeebling could be solid biggle dust could just give us a lot of damage so aggression or defensive is really the call here i think enfeebling is probably the smarter play would probably be good to especially use this on like aurelia but i like for i like going aggro so we'll go for biggle dust but if you're trying to make sure you clear this, going for Enfeebling here would probably be the safer, safer bet. Yeah, we'll go for Biggle Dust. I think this should work out pretty well. Let's go for Scavenger. This is solid. Yeah, that's not bad. I haven't played Pike in a minute, but he's a very fun champion. I think let's drop this here for the vulnerable. Take from the rich, give to me. Do we want to attack with everyone? Yes, both of these are elusive, so it's not like we're going to be able to stop them regardless. Uh, let's actually go here. That way we should be able to get our lurk. And then kill this unit with the quick attack. All right, so it's going to go off twice. All right, so we can drop that next round. Ah, uh, they get another. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and drop this here so we can kill their units. And then when we drop our snap draw swarm, we know we're going to get this attacking alongside us. So yeah, not too bad. Oh, Pike is so interesting. There's so many cool combos. All right, we really just need to make sure we don't take damage. It's kind of the biggest thing right now. We need to keep our Nexus health high. So, sacrifice no units isn't the worst. All right, so... This should give us... Yeah, leveled Pike on the board. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we're not going to be quite, quite enough to end, sadly. Literally one away. Who knows? Maybe they won't block. Oh, also, yeah, we have the... Never mind, we have Lurk. We're fine. Uh, GG. Fantastic. Uh, Blood in the Water. Deal one to anything, then rally. Summon a unit. Normally, you don't really like getting spells. But this does summon another unit. That unit is going to be bigger because of our big old uh, stash. This does give us a rally. So even though you normally don't want to go for spells, I think we'll make an exception for this one. 
All right, support champ, let's see. Again, don't really want to go for, especially landmarks and equipment because they can't trigger lurk. So that's pretty rough. So we do have a spell here, don't like that. We can go for Rek'Sai, which is the lurk synergy, so that's not bad. Fizz has a capture. Yeah, we'll probably just go for Rek'Sai because I mean, it is the other lurk deck, so <laughs> can't be complaining too much about that. Yeah, we can go here. Shop, Solitary Monk, or Item Chest. Uh, going for the shop would be nice. If the foe has played a spell, they summoned a Short Tooth. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, let's go here. Let's get rid of a Bone Skewer. Let's get rid of Call the Pack. We don't want to have all spells in our opening hand. Like, it's nice to get them out of the way so that they're not in our deck messing with us, but at the same time, it's, yeah, not the best. Oh, uh, that Shark Trainer is massive. All right, we do have multiple free attacks, so sure, let's drop this here. We're intentionally not playing this first. All right, so now we can play this so we can get a uh, swarm on the top of our deck. Yeah, we can just attack with this. We'll keep the other two as blockers. It's a little rough. We were hoping we could get our free attack off. So we could try to just get a little bit more damage down. Yeah, this is a ton of damage. We do want to kill that unit, but I don't know if we really can. Uh, blocking the overwhelm units isn't really going to matter because we're not really going to reduce down their health at all. Let's go ahead and use our skewer here to kill their songstress. Yeah, that is a ton of damage. Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack like this. All right, let's drop our snap draw. Yeah, they're already summoning a poro every round, but then they're also getting a, a short tooth as well. All right, so we have our pike. So he will strike the strongest and the weakest. He should be able to kill everyone. If not, when he attacks, then he should be able to kill everyone. Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh, Sparveg, we are doing the 5.5 Weekly Nightmare. All right. So we took a ton of damage all from one attack, but... We're still ending. GG. Uh, so the powers, we just have the Biggle Dust Dash, so our created allies get the 2-2. Two -two. All right, so it is a spell. It does have the Dragon Leans. The Dragon Leans would hit Lurk because they're below the three cost, so they would both be massive. Also, they would hit with the Biggle Dust. So this could give us a huge heal. The one issue is by the point in the time we... By the point in the game we could play this, would probably already be dead or the game be over. So yeah, I think we'll just stick with the hatchling. But this does have potential, but in this environment, we're just going to be dead before we can use it. Alright, let's go for the shop. See if we can get something. Um, Alright, some stuff that's not bad. When an ally survives, damage grant it 1-1. This give us a little bit of scaling, but most of our units aren't surviving the damage because the enemy units are so big. So it would work for like our barrier unit, but let's try to do a reroll. When you summon an ally, granted fury, it is a dragon. Some of our units are getting kills. Our pike is getting kills, so it could give us a little bit of scaling. But since we're so low as far as health, I really want something that's going to help us immediately. So because of that, 
I'm being a little bit more greedy with my rerolls because we need something to help us now. Uh, game start. This will help us a decent amount. Make sure we have something in our opening hand. Uh, we'll buy the one copy of this. Just more stats for our units. We're going to buy the one copy of Faded. Mostly just as a little bit of like a insurance. If we get Evolve, then these are going to be even bigger. Which this is the unit we're summoning every round. So it being a little bit bigger is fantastic. We yeah, are just getting one of both for the items. And let's go for the Abyssal Eye. Uh, Monster Harpoon and Call of the Pack aren't... Bad. It's nice to have these out of our deck. We would like some free attacks, but we do have two extra draws. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll hold on to this. Yeah, Poor King couldn't keep up, sadly. All right, so we have one of our free attack units. That's not bad. I think let's go for the, the Petty Officer. Please don't kill our Petty Officer. Okay, good. We need to try to kill as many of their units as possible. Killing their Abyssal Eye is going to be very important. And yeah, with the 2-2 two, two scaling, or it's 2-1, I guess, but yeah, this this will be good. It's so many units, and they're probably going to open attack. Like, this is the biggest thing, is we have to survive the first attack by the enemy. Alright, so Vexai would kill one and be on the board. Under Titan could potentially summon another unit for us, which could be really nice. Kill one, block one. They probably won't block, so it's not going to do that. It could summon another unit, but that's not... don't necessarily want to bet on that. Yeah, I think Rek'Sai is going to be better here. We just need to survive this attack. Easy. Hmm. All right, so this Pike's not going to be created. We could wait to drop him after the attack, but we could use him attacking with us. Yeah, a little, little worrying. We could keep this one back as a blocker. But let's just attack and try to do as much as we can. So yeah, we're one away from leveling. Sadly, we don't have the Pike uh, champion spell to have him get a strike off. Because that's really what we need right now. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh. Let's try to attack and end before things get too out of hand. All right, GG. Not even close. Uh, we already have the Overwhelm, but we don't really want to get either of the other two. I mean, Predict isn't bad and Summoning Units not bad, but we really just want to have units in our deck so that when we attack, we summon other followers. Drawing a spell normally is not great for us. All right, let's see. Can we get a halfway decent power? Honestly, Crescent Strike's not bad. Create a Fleeting Blade's Edge in hand. I don't think that has any way to try to help us at all. Yeah, no. Three Chrono Breaks. Again, it spells in our deck. Could potentially be clutch in a moment. 
sure. Another blocker. We're just trying to get anything to help us survive. Because... Yeah, we're kind of struggling. All right, let's go for Aurelia. Uh, this is six star Pike. Uh, let's we'll hold into one copy of Pike. We don't, well, having two is not bad, but we want them. Yeah, we'd rather just have the bone skewer. Okay, that's nice. Uh, huh. Uh, we don't actually want him to get recalled. So let's attack like this. We will get our Lurk effect off, and then we could try to drop Rek'Sai and kill their Aurelia. Because, yeah, we just really want her dead. <laughs> Alright, nice. Yeah, we have an elusive blocker. Fine with that. Give me grace enough to my doubts. Ooh, that is quite quite a lot. So we could use like a bone skewer, fizzle that attack, and then kill one of the blades. But, yeah, they're just going to immediately attack again. We do have Rek'Sai again, which is kind of funny. So Rek'Sai could be able to kill... Actually, she can't quite kill the Blossoming Blade. All right, so this won't be great, but it will reduce down damage a lot. And then we'll just immediately try to play another unit. So yeah, really, we just have to survive this attack. And then we can drop our death from below. And then we should be pretty much fine. Just the usual Aurelia cringe. Yeah. All right, so let's drop this here. We could wait for them to play something. This is fast speed, so we can be reactive with it. I think let's just drop a hatchling and see what they do. All right, so more units for us to hit and kill. Uh, the update to levels is next patch. GG. Do you like a free attack? Yeah. Normally he should be strong enough to kill whatever he is gonna hit. Uh, spells and skills deal two extra damage. We don't really have anything other than our monster harpoon, which honestly with high chance we end up cutting. Uh, we don't have the mana for Craftsman's Favor. Allied buffs except Barrier are permanent. Pretty sure, like, our Lurk our lurk buffs are already permanent. So, I feel like that does nothing for us. So, yeah, I think we need to reroll. Evolution, fantastic. This is kind of what we've been banking on with some of the upgrades we've been getting. So, yeah, that should be very, very good. Chamber of Renewal or Item Chest. We'll go here, get in our pike. Uh, spell shield will not only give him 1-1, but also that little bit of protection. So yeah, let's go for Shadow Assassin. This is okay. Yes. All right, let's build out our board. We can drop our Snapjaw Swarm next round. My training is unconventional. 
I think I kind of want to keep the disciples so we can block their shadow assassin. Oh, yeah, and this is focus speed. I think we will actually hold him back. All right, nice. Killing a lot of their board. Still having some of our units around. All right, let's go ahead and get our Lurk off. let's go ahead and get another free attack because we could drop our uh, pike next round and we have the attack token next round so we shouldn't really need to get the the lurk off as much You'll thank me later. although that being said <laughs> thanking the mana for more bone skewers would probably be <laughs> yeah probably would have been a little bit better All right, so we can drop our uh, pike. He'll get a strike off. He can get his free attacks. We'll get the lurk in. Nice. Uh, technically, we should put him first. <laughs> I mean, them bringing another unit is just someone else is going to die to Pike. GG. Uh, when I'm summon, draw a spell. So we summon this like every round. It would give us a lot of draw, but at the same time, it would get the spells out of our hand. So there's that. Uh, sure, it'll make sure we draw our Pike spell. It will be a lot of potential overdraw. All right, let's get Spell Shield on Pike. And let's see here. Our hand's gonna be pretty full, although this can make sure we actually get a follower on top. So yeah, this will actually be, this will be solid actually. Uh, some other things here are fine, but I think we're good. All right, let's go up for the champion item chest. So let's hit up the Snowy Razor Claw. Yep, this is okay. Hey, Grape. All right, so we have our snap drop for next round. Let's drop this here. We need to remember to use this so we can use our predict. Uh, do we want the under Titan? I think let's go for the hatchling, actually. So now when we attack, we know we're going to be summoning that unit, which will be pretty awesome. Yeah, I guess we can go here. Well, uh, we kind of don't really, we don't want to have to play this again. We don't want it to go in hand. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, we're gonna be overdrawing, which we kind of knew was gonna happen. Uh, let's... Put this one here. And we'll use a Bone Skewer to kill that unit. Yeah, so we're reducing down the damage taken a bit. All right, let's do our predict. Even though we knew it was on our top deck, but still. All 
All right, once again, predict, pick a follower. And hopefully our pike is big enough. Yeah, he's fine. GG. All right, two cost reduction, solid. Yeah, we're probably never gonna have the mana to play either of these, but we could play a turn one pike if we wanted. Uh, Farsight, Reckoner's Mark. Another strike's not bad. He would get hit back, although we have so many keywords on him that he should be fine. Farsight wouldn't be terrible, but yeah, I think let's go for Reckoner's. Uh, we... Yeah, let's just heal up. All right, Lissandra, this looks fine. I think normally his stats kick in before the strike does. So we already have one strike going off, but yeah, let's still... Actually, let's do our predict first. Go ahead and grab a follower. All right, turn one, level pike. Perfect. This is the great thing about pike is he scales harder than almost every other champion, as in through the course of the adventure, he just gets so much stronger. <laughs> All right, let's drop this, see what we're going to get. Yep, let's go for the hatch lane. Drop our free attack. And we'll do this right here. GG. All right, six star pike is still quite a lot of fun. Very, very solid champion. Seems like every pike game is just kind of crazy and hectic. And if you want to live life on the edge, pike is pretty good for that. It can be pretty deadly in the early game or dangerous, but you can quickly turn the tables and just absolutely annihilate your enemies. Ah, oh, great time.